Da Cha Hao, Wosha Michael Larson, Wosha Neiman De Pung Yu. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Larson from BBC IML, and this is a moment with Mike. So today, today's been a really good day for me. Um, things, I keep saying this, but things on Facebook, uh, putting all the time I'm putting into it is, is really starting to pay off now. And I'm getting connections with people. I've got some opportunities out there. I'm going to be doing some uh, marketing now for some organizations. And uh, the, uh, I'm starting to get back to things I was doing before all this pandemic happened. And there's a big organization in Europe right now that's looking for my help on some design work and some leadership and mentoring. And there's uh, other avenues that are starting to come to me now. So, so being persistently consistent is, is starting to pay off. And that's what, I've, that's what I've learned in my whole life. You know, when something incredible happens in our lives, when, when we have this incredibly fantastic thing happen in our lives, this um, huge situation that happens, it never happens, it's, it's rare that it happens overnight. These, these huge accomplishments, what they are, is there are a lot of little accomplishments that we do along the way. And we do them persistently and consistently. And each time you do it, see, most of what we do in life is the really big things we do is, is likely the first time we've ever done it. And if we had already done it, first of all, it doesn't seem like as big of a deal to us. Uh, second of all, it's, uh, it's, it's much easier and you don't learn as much. But when we have something really big happen in our life and we don't know how to get there, when, when there's that big thing out in front of us, that are an idea, a plan, uh, just a dream or a goal, we really don't know how, if it's big enough, we don't know how to get to it. See, your dreams and goals have to be something that you can't achieve when you think them up. Otherwise, they're not big enough for you and you're not going to grow enough. So thinking that you're going to have all the steps to get there is, is quite impossible. You have to think everything through and you have to take it a step at a time. And every time you take that step, you learn something new. And you get better and you get better and your belief system goes up. See, if you try to stretch that belief system the first time and get right from here to there, you're never gonna make it. You can't see all the steps, there's no way you can. If you've dreamt properly, if you've put a big dream out there and that big idea that's really gonna help you grow and become what you were meant to be, two, two greatest days in our life are the day we were born and the day we, re, we find out why. If it's big enough that you really grow to what you can be, you cannot see all the steps. So, so trying to get there from here to there is where most people fail. They're trying to too much and they can't, they don't have everything they need to get there. And they use that per, for procrastination. I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the people around me. I don't have the organization. I don't have the building. I don't have this. I don't have that. And they use all those excuses to not do something that's already there for them. Rather than taking a look at, well, how do I get the money? What are the steps I take to get the money? What are the steps I, I take to get the people here? What are the steps I need to take to have the building? How do I get the knowledge? Those are all the little steps that you have to do and we never wanna see that. We wanna go from here to there because for some reason we think it's gonna be that easy. Even though Think about it, just a uh, uh, hundred years ago, man flight wasn't even thought possible, just over a hundred years ago. And think about all the steps that the Wright brothers took in that process. Uh, first of all, they had to take a bicycle shop, <laughs> think about that, bicycle shop, and they had to build an airplane and then they had to take this airplane and first of all they had to create an engine that would propel it and then they had to figure out how to get a runway that would be long enough for the airplane they had to figure out how to create lift they had to build it strong enough that it would hold up 
And then they have they had to get it off the ground. And once they got it off the ground, they had to keep it in the air. And once they kept it in the air, they had to land again and, and survive. And trial after trial after trial after trial of air. And I guarantee you they had no clue how to do it from the start. When they started that project, they had no idea how to do it. But think of all they learned along the way and all that's been created from something like that. We've gone to the moon. You know, in my lifetime, uh, fax machines are just about gone now. But in my lifetime, uh, there wasn't fax machines. There wasn't cell phones. There wasn't any of that stuff. But somebody had an idea. Do you think they actually knew how to get from where they were with that corded phone at home to a, one that they could carry a lot around with them wherever they wanted to go and be able to talk to people? Do you think they had every step along the way figured out? No. It was trial and error, trial and error, trial and error, trial and error, but they learned something new all the way along the way. And I guarantee you that they never lost faith in that. They'd always look back. They had to always look back at what they accomplished, and they always gave themselves a reward. So the next step along the way was better. And each time they went through a step, I bet it got easier and easier to take that next step because they were persistently, consistently, and they kept that big dream out in front of us, and it was a big enough why that the how came, came easy. So when I started on this trip, and it's working, it is, it's absolutely working, I didn't know how to do it. I really didn't. I, I, didn't, I didn't know, understand how to do it. So did I really have the money to do everything I wanted to do? No, no. Did I have the knowledge? No. Did I have the circle of people around me I needed to get it taken care of? No. And that's another thing I've learned along the way. The who is more important than the how. Figure out who the who before you figure out the how. But I found people that had already done it and I listened to what they said. So I got the knowledge. I found people that could help me along the way. Some of them, even when I didn't have the money to, to really support all that, and I found a way to get that happen. Uh, there's people right on this call that have helped me along the way. Uh, Wendy and Chad, uh, Mike, believe it or not, you even helped me along the way. And Anthony, he and I met in China, and uh, he and I have talked about things like this, but, uh, but finding the people along the way to make sure it's right. And the advice you get, some of it was crazy. Some of the advice I got was crazy. But I also know that, uh, that the advice I was getting was universal. It came from universal law because my mindset was right. I had intent and everything in, my, in me was focused on this goal that I knew that I was gonna attract things to me, people to me, ideas to me that maybe wouldn't make sense. And the reason they don't make sense is because you're used to your belief system where all the things that happen through your life, that's how you create your belief system. If you're doing something new, things are gonna come to you, thoughts, ideas, people, that would not make sense to what your life was before. And that's, that's where the faith comes in. You have to have faith that what it is that's coming to you is for it, but you also have to look at those things and you look at purpose, because there's also your squirrel mentality, your shiny object, where the things are thrown at you all the time, the universe challenges you, throws stuff at you all the time, that you can go off on a tangent someplace. And you have to be, you, you have to be disciplined. You have to stick with the, with the idea. Now the ch plan has changed many times over the last few months, but I've always stuck with the idea and it's, it's working, and I'm learning so much. And when I come out of this, uh, I'm gonna be a better person. I'm gonna understand more about this business. And now, because, here's the other thing that I learned through all of this. People often wanna start a business um, based off the idea, and then they come up with a plan, and then they try and create the plan. Well, what happens when you do that is the plan doesn't always involve revenue. And, and then when we invest in something that, that isn't going to give us revenue, 
then the idea will, will die because we give up on the plan and we give up on the idea. What I've learned from this is you need to find the revenue first. Before you decide to create an organization around you, you have to find the revenue. You have to build the organization off of something that's going to support that. And I think that's the, the mistake that a lot of people make in business. Now, there are, there are ideas out there that are ready-made revenue makers. But when you go into that, you're going into a red ocean and you're likely going to have to have a lower price to be able to compete with others because there's plenty of other people doing it and you haven't created your own niche. But you need to create a revenue that's in as blue an ocean as you can. What I mean by red ocean, blue ocean, red ocean is a, is a place where everybody wants to be. The red ocean is there's plenty of sharks. There's plenty of blood in the water. You want to get into a blue ocean where there isn't many sharks. There hasn't anybody treaded through that yet. So you've got a niche. You create a niche. You create revenue off a niche. And now you can be profitable and you can create an organization around that. And you're likely doing something that either people haven't had the ability to do or don't have the desire to do it. And when you can do that, you create a niche and you create a spot for yourself and you create that blue ocean. So these are all lessons that I've been learning as I've gone through this. And it's been incredible. It's, I've, I've, it's been, it's, when you start a new business, you have to keep your faith. You have to believe that, that God's law, universal law, gave you this idea and it's there. It's just a matter of, of tying that spiritual idea to the physical form of it and they're opposites and they're balancing each other so they both have to be there and you got to have the faith that, that, that that's that idea if the idea came to you it's there for you now you might not figure out exactly how it's there for you the first time around and that's why the plan will constantly change and that's what I've had to do but you have to stick with that idea it was meant for you that is your calling that is your I, that is your turn to learn why you were born. You've already learned you were born. That's your opportunity to learn why you were born and never get off that idea. Don't let anybody throw you off that idea. If somebody comes up with a better plan for your idea, that's one thing. But a devil's advocate, that does you no good. If they poke holes in your idea, then they're not there for you. You need to find people that are going to help you get to that idea. If they have a better way of doing it, listen to them. But... Whatever comes to you, you have to be able to link it to the, pro to the purpose. Does it progress your purpose? If it does, grab onto it, latch onto it, go with it. If you can't see it progressing uh, your purpose, then it's probably that shiny object or that squirrel. Uh, that's the other thing I've learned through this. There's been lots of things that have come to me that were just taking me in the wrong direction. I couldn't tie them to the idea. But the things that I could tie to the idea, I've kept going with. So I've really, I have, you know, there's been, there's always tough times when you do this. There's times when you start to question whether you're doing it right. When that happens, you're taking too big a step. Make a smaller step at that point. Really, just, just take a little bit smaller step, but move forward. And I've had to do that a number of times, but I've always stayed persistently consistent and it's, it's, it's coming around the way I want it to. There's been some crazy things that have come up, but I've been able to tie them to the idea, and when I went with them, it helped. It did. It really did. So it gives me a lot of faith in universal law, God's law. And so that is my take today. I lost a connection just for a moment there. My, my dog has decided to put his commentary in here also. But... Uh, I hope you guys have a super fantastic evening. I hope this finds you well. What I do is business mentoring. Um, I also do business coaching. I create sales, leadership, team building, and hiring processes for businesses. I also have a design. We can do interior design. We can do uh, graphic design. I can do website design. There's lots of different things I can do. So if there's somebody you know or maybe you're yourself that you need some help with that, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear. If you guys have an idea for something I can talk about, email me at Mike at Inspired Motivated Leadership .com, or you can text me on Messenger. And let's see. So I already mentioned Wendy and Chad. Thanks for being on here. Mike, thanks for being on here. 
I enjoy some of your takes on my questions. Anthony, hope we get together, together sometime soon. Uh, David, glad to have you on here. And Lynn, glad to have you on here. Appreciate you all being on here. And uh, we will talk soon. Enjoy. I hope the weather's as good there as it is here. But enjoy the weather if it is. And uh, I'll be on at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. I always have a video on earlier in the day, too, on the question I put out probably three, four days ago. After I get enough comments in on it and stuff, I, I like to put together a little video on that also. And I always name somebody's comment in there that I, that I liked. Isn't always necessarily the best comment it's just uh, sometimes to try and mix it up and let other people have their comments involved in it so look for those also uh if anybody has an idea of a question they'd like me to ask the other thing i do every day is i do breakfast in a bible and i have a scripture if anybody has an idea for scripture i'd love go ahead and share it with me I, i'd love that so have a super fantastic evening and we will talk soon <laughs>